the early 1960s, Nigeria was the world's largest palm oil producer with a global market share of 43%. Today, Nigeria is the fifth largest palm oil producing country with only 1.5%, while 85% of global oil palm production comes from Indonesia and Malaysia. But this may not be the case for too long. JB Farms actually started as a hobby in, I think, 1996. Um, I had a lot of idle time and um, I was looking for something to keep me busy. So my dad had a piece of land in Peru in Ogun State and I decided, okay, let me go there and do some farming to keep myself occupied. So I started with maize and then from maize to cassava. It wasn't really fulfilling, you know, plant every day or fruit every day wasn't really what I wanted to do. So I started looking for a tree crop, something more permanent. And um, it was a toss-off between cocoa and oil palm. I would say that I would do oil palm. So in 1998, I planted my first palm tree. I think that year, I planted eight hectares. I was owner, farm manager, everything, you know. And it was interesting. But then we started to grow bit by bit. The next year, I added another four hectares to the plantation. And then over time, between 1998 and 2012, I think we took the plantation size to about 1,400, 1,500 hectares. You know, it was steady growth, but it was slow growth. Today, JB Farms has over 4,000 hectares of palm oil plantation in Odogbolu local government area, Ogun State, and 4,500 hectares in Oba, Akampa local government area of Cross River State. In 2012, JB Farms built its first mill, a three ton per hour milling capacity. Between 2012 and 2021, we built a 12 ton per hour mill in Oba, a 15 ton per hour milling capacity in Odogbolu with another 12 ton per hour mill under construction. By the time the new mills are completed in early 2023, we will have a milling capacity of 39 tons per hour. While palm oil is the primary product gotten from the processing of the palm fruit, palm kernel nuts are also important byproducts when crushed it produces palm kernel oil, which is both edible and used in the cosmetic industry, and palm kernel cake, which is used in the production of animal feeds. To process the kernel produced in-house and that which is bought from external suppliers, we have built a crushing plant with 52 expellers, which produces about 120 tons of palm kernel oil and 180 tons of palm kernel cake daily with an intention to play in the entire oil palm value chain. We have also now decided that rather than just stay in one area of the oil palm value chain, we want to play in all the areas. So uh, three years ago, we set up a sister company called Tosset Agro Industries Limited, which was a refining business where we take the palm oil we produce and refine it to vegetable oil. And um, so that's been going on for three years. An expansion plan and to play in the entire value chain of oil palm, we established Tosset Agro Limited, a sister company, to refine palm oil into vegetable oil. Tosset has two 200 tons per day refineries with a total capacity of 400 tons per day and two 140 tons per day fractionating plants producing refined palm kernel oil and refined palm oil. Crushing is a critical stage for palm fruit processing. Our crushing plant with 52 expellers produces about 120 tons of palm kernel oil and 180 tons of palm kernel cake daily, able to support our vertical integration strategy. We have grown quite well and then obviously in the milling and refining process you produce some byproducts, stearine and DFE and PFED and these products are actually the building blocks 
to producing soap so we have also decided to go into the area of soap production where we use our byproducts from the refining process that we use to produce soap. Built a soap plant is actually completed. Soap is essential in our day-to-day -day life, removing germs that stick to the oils and grease on our body. Without soap, mankind cannot defeat germs. Our newly built 4 tons per hour soap plant produces Tulsat branded soap for the Nigerian consumer. Efforts are now being recognized by people, so I have to say a thank, big thank you to the governor of Ondo State, Akwe Dodo. He was gracious enough to give us 10,000 hectares of land to develop our power. On that site, we intend to build a 60-ton power per mile mill. That's going to be a massive project and that is going to be very cash intensive. Definitely we will invest a lot of our own money, but like Oliver Twist, we intend to come back to the CBA with a begging bowl for additional support. And we hope that with all what we've done with our track record, we'll, be, we'll get a favorable reply. At JB Farms, we are committed to creating jobs and improving lives employing over 7,000 people in our host communities. We have renovated schools and donated items to healthcare centers, providing transportation for children from the plantation to school in Oban town. JB Farm is doing well with us. It provides water, it provides any kind of food, it helps us for carry our children down to school and bring them back. We like and we love JB Farm and we like to work with JB Farm. We love JB Farm! redefining palm oil plantation and processing in Nigeria and Africa. And we are only just getting started. To our partners, our customers and our host communities, we say a very big thank you for your support as we look forward to doing more together and making Nigeria a greater nation. JB Farms, bridging the palm oil gap of the Nigerian nation.